Oh, hola, good day viewers. My name is Way Forward. Welcome to my is it my third? Okay, welcome to my third um tutorial on um H2 database. And we've uh done uh, we've done how to create a database. We've inserted into the data into the okay. We've created a database. We've created a table in the database which is table customer, and then we've started into the table customer. So that's what we did in the last um tutorial. So here we're going to talk about how to insert into a database. And I don't know whether I um I told you I was I, was, I downloaded a, a PDF which is actually helpful. So that's what we'll be using. So I'll be doing less of coding, and um, I'll just need to follow it. So like touch every bit of the chapter. So here we're in chapter five, and it's all about updates. So let's go to my um to my table. So when you click on the table here, yeah, you get a very short code just to check of what's in the table. So this is what we have in our table. We have the ID, the name, the age, the salary, and the address. So that's that. So let's go to update. So I believe we all know what update is. It's just like um making an edit and a particular column. So and to update let me check okay i seem to have a syntax here so look at here now see update customer six ah, sorry update customer set address to pun where id is six so what this line is actually saying that we should update let me copy this down uh, we should update the address table where the id is six so we only know in the column here in the column for the table we only have a single address we only have a single we only have six in the, in the id so we need to what the id is the id is just like a unique key to to easily identify the customers on the table so you can see here this is the column six let me just paste the code here so you can see update customer sets address pun so what you should be expecting in column six then the address which is mp should be pun so let's run this customers okay sorry my table name is customer not customers so let's run this you can see updates won't count so control a or let me say control z z so now um let me go open the table you can see formally in the six okay it should update it but i don't know let me let me let me refresh this and see what's up Oh, it's actually brought it down. I don't think you should do stuff like. That. So um, I I I don't just know why it it actually brought six down, but we have successfully updated the table. So um, let's go into let's go into um, Zamp and let me let me try to check something here. Sorry, I'm going to another platform entirely. I just want to be sure on what I'm doing here because I uh. I don't think the column six should um, should come down. So the uh, the codes are quite similar whether we use the H2 database or the same database. I don't just um use um ZAM because I really do much about application, so I don't need much of this. So let's go by creating a a database here. Let me name this YouTube also. Okay, YouTube basis. Let's name this YouTube one. So I have YouTube. Let's create a table customer. Oh, customers. Which column of how many columns do we have here? One, two, three, four. Oh, let me check. One, two, three, four, five. That's five. So that's five. Ah, oh God! Like, keep on typing this ID name. Sorry, ID name, age, address, ID name, age, 
address salary id should be number and name should be vaca age okay let's just leave it integer address vaca salary is also an integer so that's that about this you okay, can to set the length oh it's freaking annoying name this 10 24 40 and also 7 so I've been able to show you how to do this on example so <laughs> you get two videos in one or you get two tutorial in a single tutorial so um let's go into my SQL I want to insert into the database so let me just copy the code from the PDF I have yet, so it's gonna save the time I used to update country C. Then click on go. So it should be customers, customers, customers. Customize, 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 and go. So you have the table loaded. So you can see. So let's try to update from the table also and see whether. So I'm copying this. It will actually save time and typing all the shit. Then go. So I've been able to update this. So let's see why whether the table is going to come down. Okay, okay, that's just example. See, we've been able to update this to pion. So that's just um, that's the H2. It doesn't really matter since the ID didn't change and everything is still intact. So that is how to update. That's how to update in a database. Let's say we want to update something else. Let's say we want to update um, want to update customer and address let's try to update the salary salary let's name the salary to um to 2000 where the id is um six also so we know this is 4005 we actually want to update it to um to one to 2000 so let's run this it has been updated so let's run the table so you can see we have eventually changed this to 2000 so that is how to update into a database with the simple syntax update the table name and set the column you want to do to this okay let's say we want to update um, several column at once to do that we only need to use a comma as a separation comma to do it so in column says what should we change here let's change the name name equals um m should be way forward so you can see update customer set address still on or let's name it to nigeria i'm from nigeria i'm a nigerian and then the name to way forward id column six so let's run this successful just click on this to get the select and then you can see we've been able to change six to way forward and then the address to this so thank you for watching always remember to subscribe on my channel it's the way forward academy peace love ya